You there? Yep, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep. All righty. Very good. Okay. Should I start looking for you? What's that? Should I start looking for the game? Yeah, it's it's there. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming in now. I'm there. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, well, I gotta look for a game online. <laughs> that that would help. Yeah. Edge Hill. All right, I'm inside the game. All right, cool. All right, we're at the beginning of turn five. Right. And uh, I, I went back and checked the uh, automatic rally rule, and Rupert is not subject to that because it, it doesn't, formation shaken is not what causes it. To have morale shaken, all cavalry and infantry, heavy infantry, have to be either eliminated formation broken morale shaken or morale broken okay um there is one morale broken unit but the other two are just formation shaken so he is still in charge um your guys your cavalry wings are definitely in mandatory rally Okay, we got him in both in rally. Yep. So we're back to Rupert. And what Rupert's going to do. So his. He's in charge, but I think I want to try and change orders. Okay. Um. So I want him to go to, actually I want him to go to Rally, which he does on a zero to five. He's got a minus two. And yep, what? minus two. So a five minus two. Okay. Nope. Nope. So he's stuck in charge. So everybody's got to move one closer to the nearest enemy. So that was one. Two, three. Wouldn't it be the uh, uh, nearest cavalry? What's that? Why wouldn't it you go after the infantry? It was, it He's got to end up one closer. Doesn't mean he oh, has to okay. move directly. Okay, this has to be one closer to the nearest enemy. Okay. Well, with the near, what's it mean by nearest enemy? So, yeah, it'll be that infantry. Oh, okay. Okay, but it doesn't mean he has to move right immediately to it. Okay. He, he just has to end one closer. Okay. So he, he doesn't have to go in a direct line, but okay. he's got to go to it. So, I mean, it, it's suicide for him to mm -hmm. oh, go yeah. frontally, which they wouldn't do, right? I mean, mm -hmm. they'd be smart. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. one. What is the guys behind him? They're fire. Uh, they can't. Not they can't. They can only fire. They can only fire out of their front arc. Right. I'm not talking about the one that you charge. I'm talking about the guy who's right behind him. Not in his front arc. 
Oh, okay. Right? I mean, he would, this, this hex, so 1707, right. 1708 and 1709 are in his front. Okay. And recall, they only have a range of one. Okay. So, if, even if he, even if this was in his front arc, he can't shoot at him. Okay. He's too far away. They're they're not artillery. Mm-hmm. So that was one, two, three, four. One, two, one, leave those guys there. <coughs> and uh, this guy here is morale broken, so he can't do anything. Um, Actually, he's morale broken. He should have routed. He should have routed. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So old Rupert's going to go one... Two, three, four, five, and go into that stack. All right. So my boys are there, and. They're not going to fire. So it's close combat. Okay. And obviously they're both close combating on Essex. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, wing commander or army commander leadership rating is a minus two. Morale. You're a six. I think I'm a six. Yep, oh, I'm a six and a half. So that's even. Strength ratio. I'm four, seven. And you're 20. Mm -hmm. So that's a minus. Let's two. look here. I think I think it's a minus yeah. three, actually. It's 11.3.4. Oh, they don't have a chart for that one. Either. No, you have to look it up in the rules, which is really ridiculous, but. Um. Okay, so it's a minus two. Okay. So the plus... Yeah, back to even. Mm -hmm. Close combat matrix. Cuirassier versus heavy infantry is a plus one. There is no defending cavalry. For each attacking cavalry expending a pistol shot, well, yes, we're going to expend a pistol shot. Both of them? I take it a three. Yeah, both of them are doing pistols. Okay, so that takes you there. You're a plus three, then. Yep, that's plus three. And then plus two more. Um, duh, duh, duh. 
Yep, for each flank rear hex defender is attacked from, so that's a plus five. Mm -hmm. However, the attacker is formation shaken, so it's minus one. Mm -hmm. So it's plus four. Um, they don't have cavalry momentum. That's it, it's plus four. Okay. Yep, it's plus four. That's a ten. Where's zero, you mean? Oh, ten. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it was it was a six plus four. Mm -hmm. So that is a defender eliminated. Send it to the dead. I wondered how that was going to work. I have never ever gotten far enough in this game mm -hmm. to attack a two hex heavy infantry unit with cavalry because it always looks like that'll never work right so mm -hmm. I never got close enough but it shows if you can get cavalry on a flank now here's the problem we now gotta do Pursuit. Uh, d yeah, the attacker must advance into the vacated hex, a check for cavalry pursuit. So, so there was something here. If they were already eliminated, they didn't have to check for pursuit. We ran into that. We were doing that wrong last time. Okay. So let me look at that. If the cavalry pursuit die roll calls for the cavalry unit to advance into the broken unit's hex, but the unit was eliminated in the same close combat by a previous cavalry pursuit roll, treat any cavalry pursue and eliminate result, not a pursue off map result, as a break off. Okay, so still got to check for pursuit. So um, the first one I'm checking here is uh, Byron. Okay. And there's no plus modifiers, but it is, yes, there is a plus one because they're under a charge order. Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, pursue off map and eliminate. So Byron goes to the pursuit box. Now we got to roll four. Uh, the first Maurice's first squadron here. So it's again a plus one. Eight. Guess what? Same That's thing. a pursue off pursue off map and eliminate. Mm -hmm. So what that means is guess who else gets goes with them. Rupert has to go? Because then you go to the nearest guy? Rupert goes. Why? Because he, he's with that cavalry. I, oh, okay. He wouldn't go if, to you're, the, if your leader is stacked with cavalry that pursues off map, okay, they, go. They, go, they, they go. So the dragoons are on command until a replacement comes? Yeah, yeah there? there should be a... Um, I, think, I think there's replacements, but we, talk, we did that in the first game. There are replacements. The question here is, and I gotta look this up. Um, so leaders, leader casualties in close combat. That's not a casualty. So they, R Rupert needs to check. 
because he was in close combat. Mm, okay, right. so he survives. Okay. He survives and he goes off map. Okay. He's All pursued right. off map. Now, what I, I still need to look up is... Wow, that's interesting. His counter is gone. That's the same thing that happened to your guy. I see Rupert. Oh, no, I see that's the cavalry guy. You're right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah. you, so you got to grab another one from up in the... Uh... Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Cause cause it it's, doesn't it's count, count for victory, victory points. Right, exactly. Um, but what I need to figure out is... Okay, the leader may. So 5.3. What are we looking for? If he comes back. Okay. The unit doesn't, but the leader may. Okay. So let me look up the rule. It's 5.3. Okay, leader casualties and replacement. Leaders may be removed from play by fire combat. Close combat are stacked with a cavalry unit that pursues off map. A leader is automatically removed if an enemy occupies his hex. All units that he is stacked with are eliminated or is the target, blah, blah, blah. Can't do anything. Replacement. Leaders removed from play are either eliminated or returned to play. So we just roll on that table. It's the same as if he'd been a leader casualty. Okay. So, on the leader casualty table, or a leader replacement table, we roll a d10. We roll a 1. Use replacement, but original leader returns at the end of next turn. So... Right, so I need a replacement list. I need a colonel who will put with the dragoons. But then Rupert comes back on at the end of turn Seven, six. six. Okay. All right. Well, that was an eventful activation. Yeah. Um, I was. I'm interested to see how fast those casualties happened. So, so far, just so you know, mm -hmm. this is terribly historical. Um. Well, there's a good game. What <laughs> What just happened is is exactly what happened, except that uh, this other. Essex, Charles Essex uh, brigade also routes and, and leaves the map. So Rupert's cavalry does exactly this. They actually drive the other cavalry in. Essex guys pick up and leave. Um, but then all of Rupert's cavalry pursues off, you know, route, you know, goes in pursuit and they're gone. Right, and that's that's exactly what's happened here. So, pretty interesting. Okay, so now um, we don't have anybody else in charge, and you're at ball four with make ready. Okay. Well, let's do our let's do the artillery first. To have the, uh, let's see here, these are the uh, three pound falcons. We'll go after Whitworth. Five. Okay, it's six. six. Range mm -hmm. of six. Right. And that is a minus. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. I don't think anything Roll them. Nothing else applies. Nothing else applies. Okay, here comes the, the shot. And oh, where's the. Ah, a two. A four. 
minus two. Minus two. Right, right. It's a two. Right, miss. Which is a flat, flat miss, yeah. Boom. Okay. And now for the uh, eight pound sinkers, they're going after field. They're also six. Right. But these guys. Which is a. Minus one. Minus one. Just a minus one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get Marty's guys fired. I'm thinking about it. I'm pressing the uh, roll the dice. No, miss. Wow, big time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay, these guys, the infantry moves how many? Four? I don't know these guys. Yeah, heavy infantry moves four. Okay, I'm only going to move two. Light infantry moves six. Is one, two. Yep. Okay. What do we got going on here? Oh, I don't need to do anything with that cavalry anymore. Okay, so. Well, I can't do any of this. Put these guys back. I'm not, oh, these guys, I, well. Essex is up here. Could he have him do that, or I have to get Balfour to have him do, do what? Well, because Balfour's more than two away from anybody right now. Oh, really? uh, yeah. So, so here's a, a you could do a couple of things. Um, if you move, you have to move to get in command again before you can move anymore, or. You could move Balfour alone first. Mm -hmm. Right, before I move these. So, ones. Right. I have to be within. So if I move him to here, oh, so you don't want to do that. If I take Balfour to here, Balfour we should have these guys, everybody in command. At this point. Right, that puts everybody in command. Okay, and then I'll move here. Now he can't do anything else because he moved. Right. But you probably don't want to do anything else. So no. is this cavalry no still deal to move him? Can this cavalry still can move too, though, right? The one that he was stacked with? Yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. They're mm -hmm. they're not impacted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. We're gonna. What we're, what we're going to try to do is just sidestep one. So that's going to be a... Who are you see. trying to move? Uh, what is this guy's name? Bedford. So Bedford's going to have to move. He's going to have to rotate two. So for oh, one. the cavalry. Yep. Oh, so we got one. Two. Three. Now he's going back. Four. Okay, four. Five. Well, is it? I thought it was just. I thought two was. Did, okay, I'm confused on that. What? That's that's is that that's one. Every hex side is one. Yeah, and you move two hex sides. Yeah. Okay. I thought. Okay. They're good. Okay. So these are all. These are all the same. Yeah. Now you can move. You can move ahead. You don't have to move. Two hex sides to do what you're trying to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. I, I met the first one. I messed up. <laughs> That's what I confused myself. You still could do it. I mean, okay. you, you had a movement of eight. Right. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. Yeah, I mean, just move him over. We know what you're doing. Okay. Now this guy here. He's okay, so that's one, right? Yeah, that's one. To you could move to the vertex. Right. Two. Three, four, five, six, and one. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. somebody's outside, I guess. <laughs> it sounds like it. We, we have the same thing with Willow. She's always on guard now. Okay. All right. And I think we could try for a continuation. I'm going to preempt. Okay. Uh, except I'm not. Well, yeah, maybe I will. 
Um, so Astley's going to try and preempt. Because <clears throat> Wilmot, Wilmot can't. Uh, all right, so preemption, if I make ready, is 0 to 3. Mm -hmm. Minus 1. So 0 to 3 minus 1. Hoo-hoo! Got it! All right, so Alfred is finished. Yep. So did this colonel be marked finish? Yeah, he should. I got him. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so... I think there's a bunch of kids Two. outside playing. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Yeah. I see all that out there. See all what? Oh, somebody's walking their dog and they're stuck. Uh oh. It's been about 10 feet away, so a person on a bicycle. Guys, stop talking to the person walking the dog. And then, oh, yeah. And then about right. 10 feet away from that is a little kid on a, sc a scooter. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Charles is going to go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, though that isn't really going to help. It's a good thought, but it's not really going to help. But one, two, three, four, one, two. Ashley's going to go up there. Okay. Um, I'm going to try for a continuation. So I am make ready. I continue on a 0 to 2 minus 1. I did not get it. Okay, so that guy's done. Um, now it's time for wings that are under rally. Mm -hmm. So low might we should have it, right? This colonel is... Which colonel? Oh, that's right. He's that under guy. He's under rally. He's under, right? he's, under, he's under mandatory rally because he's got nothing left, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, that's curious because they're not eliminated. They're just off map. Mm -hmm. So I think he's actually still under charge. Because they're not eliminated units. They're, they're just gone. They're just mm -hmm. off the map. So I think he stays in charge. Um All right, well, yeah, so you've got uh, either Fielding or Ramsey. You're, you're up next, right. so you got one of those two guys. Let's we'll try Ramsey. We'll do what we're we'll doing with Ramsey first. Okay. This is wrong he's a mandatory I. rally. So What's I that? I, I said he's going to try to change orders. What he's going to try to do? I'll just check to see because right. the guy underneath him is there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. There isn't anything he can do from a rally perspective. Right. So he's going to try to change orders. Two. 
make ready. Okay. Okay. And, and that is a from rally to make ready. Zero four. Uh, yep, zero to four. He doesn't get any. He's a zero, so he doesn't get any re anything for that. Mm -hmm. Um. No leader rating, so just zero to four, right? Yeah, it's just zero to four. Nope. Okay, so you're gonna try to do a continuation. Okay. And he's in rally. Oh, he can't yep. continue. So he can't. He can't continue. Yeah. But he's done. All right. So that means Wilmot. Mm-hmm. Good old Lord Wilmot. Um, uh, what do I do? What do I do? All right, so these dragoons, I'm going to have them. So they're they're turning completely around. Okay. So when do I get to take a reaction when they turn start turning around? At any time you want. Yeah. Well, might as well on. get that done. You gonna do it right there? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Well, I have to do it right there right. before you before you step out of that hex. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. All right. So they get their shot. Um, I have a feeling that because these guys are light infantry that they might be able to just pull away, but I'm not positive. You want to take a look? Yeah, let me see here, just in case. Light infantry does different stuff, so... Not that I can see. Okay. I think it's just a regular shoot 'em up. It's not gonna be much of a shot. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just gonna be even up or even dire. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's we're yeah, both, there's we're nothing both the same else. Morale. We're both the same strength. Point. Well, it, it's just it's a fire. You don't have to do it. Everything else that we, it's not close combat, it's fire. Oh, I know. I'm, I was just looking down there, and I'm not formation yeah. shaken. That's why I said it's just even up. Right. N there's nobody's formation shaken or formation broken. It's not, right. you're not doing well, retreating yeah, fire. It, if I had to take that one casualty, then it would have been a different, it could have been a plus one, but that's a different story. Right. Yeah. You, it's, yep, just, it's just, just, just gets even whatever the roll is. Eight or a nine is a hit. Right. Nope. Finish walking away. All right. So that was two. 
three. You got the four, five. Yeah. So now yeah, your formation's cost, shaking. No, because they're light infantry. Oh, that, it's right. They're light infantry. Yeah. Yeah, they're light infantry, and then one more. All right, these guys are going to do the same thing. They're going to turn around. Who's that? Uh, uh, Wilmot. So uh, Bedford back here is going to try to intercept. Okay. All right, so they're make ready. And his morale is six, right? Eight. Eight. Yeah, okay, so it's a minus one to the die roll. He can do an intercept on a zero to four. Mm hmm. So that's a four. That's a four, so he, he moves up to do close combat. All right. So immediately, no wing commander. The morale differential of plus one, minus one rather. Uh, strength. You're actually a two, and I'm a three. Mm -hmm. So that's a minus one. So that puts it back even. Mm -hmm. Um. Nothing on the close combat matrix. I am going to expend a pistol shot. That yeah, puts it do. at plus one. And you gonna do a well, pistol shot? You mean it should be minus one because if you plus one is gonna make it. That's better for my. <laughs> yeah, it's minus. I'm sorry, you're right. It's minus one. So, so no, morale no, 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 morale no. differential is. I, I expended it out a shot too, so that's. Takes it even then. Okay, so let's go back here. Morale differential is plus one in your favor. Mm -hmm. Strength is minus one yeah. in my favor. Okay, that's even. Then we both did a pistol, so, so we're flat. We're still flat even. Mm -hmm. Um, and you get a plus one because you're attacking from the rear. Okay. You're not formation shaken or anything else. It's a plus two. So a defender is uh, shaken. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm shaken. Right. Which is a plus one. Mm -hmm. And so you had a plus one. Right, so you're plus two. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So you're you're plus two, but you also have momentum. Yeah, I sure do, don't I? Yep. That's so now it's a plus four. Mm-hmm. And All that's right. it. Here we go. Yep. Uh, that's it. Defender of the To night. the dead box. To the dead box. All right. Now, you have to now roll for pursuit. pursuit. Yep. There is a pursuit. And there is a see, cavalry. I'm not under a charge order, but I did have momentum. So that's right. a plus one. That's just a plus one, it looks like. Yep. <coughs> All right. Looking good, David. Zero. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <coughs> Plus one is, is, is a break good. off. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a break off, so... Boy, how, how lucky can I get? <laughs> yeah, you lucked out big time there. So big he, time. He, he just stays right there then, right? He, uh, well, he's got to advance into... Oh, that's right. He has to go one more. Yep. How about that? And I took a pistol off you. I shouldn't have. There we go. All right. Now we're going to... Wilmont, Lord Wilmont, is going to go like this, mm -hmm. and then the dude that's under him, well, they're both going to go up 
Come on, Wilma. You're killing me. Come on, man. All right, that was two, okay. three, four, five, six. Actually, let's go this way. Let's go two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Did you mean we take the cavalry with you? Or? Yeah, the cavalry's going with. I just that's just how it was moving. <laughs> okay. For some reason, those guys decided they weren't going to stack easily, and they still are acting like buttheads. Let's see. I really don't know why they're doing this. That's probably for the same reason that uh, the leaders disappear when they go to the dead box. Yeah, something. Or a pursuit box or something like that. Well, who something's knows? Something's weird. Anyway, that's where they've ended up. No, we know what's going on in this. Yep, that's where they've ended up, and he is finished. Oh, so there's one guy right. left. All right. Yep. All you got is Ramsey over there. And Ramsey, is going, since let's see here, uh, I guess the first thing I can do is try to get him out of morale shaking. Um. Yeah. So he's going to, he, I believe, automatically rallies. Because he's, rally. stacked, he, he's stacked with the wing commander. Okay. All right. Let me just make... I don't think he's got to do a morale check. Um, no, I just get ready. Let me just check. All right, so uh, successful rally action, blah blah blah. Rally is automatic. Gain one morale level if the unit is stacked with its wing commander. Okay. So he's just back to normal then, right? Yep. There's no rally marker, is there? No, you just need yeah, to... Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Now, that's the only, literally the only thing that fielding <laughs> can do. do. Right, because he can't continue. All right. So, so he's the, finished. That's the end of the turn. End of the turn. All right. Okay. And six. You took your vice finished off. Okay, good. Yep. Everybody's flipped, okay. ready to rock again. Uh, except we need to go one, two, three, four, and they've okay. routed off the board, and they count for elimination. Oh. Okay, well, I'll take that. One, two, three, and he counts for elimination. <laughs> oh, the colonel gets to go first this time. Yep. Six and one half dozen in the other here. Mike off. Mike on. One, two. This 
those guys. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So. One. Two. Not a whole lot of choice. They're under charge orders. Mm -hmm. Um, your musketeer under here could reaction fire. Yep, he will. Ah, oh, come on! I did this way. Yep, he's. <laughs> he basically hits. He hits on an eight or nine. Yep. Nope. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have the Musketeers here, close combat, and they are strength three against a strength one, so he's just gone. Mm -hmm. And now i got to roll for uh, Ramsey. Uh, actually, Ramsey's gone too, because his whole wing is gone. Mark to eliminate, or where'd he go? That's, that was the, that's the reason why he's going to row. Uh, yeah, I think he's eliminated, but let me look here. I really don't think you have to roll. I think he's just, his wing's gone, so he's gone. But let me look. I was, gonna say, I, I was thinking if he died, oh, okay, it doesn't matter. He still gets eliminated in the elimination box. Okay. Right, I mean, he's gone no matter what. He can't come back. There's nothing to come back to. Mm -hmm. His whole wing is gone. But let me see. I remember reading it. I just need to find where it is. A leader is automatically removed if an enemy unit occupies his hex. All units he is stacked with are eliminated, or he is the target of a close combat and the leader is alone in a hex. So. Well, it, 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 well, it's probably the first well, one. Yeah, so. When did he first wrote us if he died and then he just stays there because no place to go and then he gets eliminated? A, a, a leader is automatically removed. Yeah, if you move into it. If all units that he is stacked with are eliminated. Okay. Which is what what's happening. Um, however, that still doesn't answer the question. If w w would he come back, right? Because there's nothing to come back to. Mm-hmm. I think he does. I don't think he comes back. I was just thinking that he's gone. But did he did he die? Did he die in the combat, or he just got captured? Either way, he's, he's, either a, way he's, he's a cat. He's, he's 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 yeah. He's dead. He's a yeah. Well, he's not. Dead, in this case, he's he's captured. Well, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> that, that, that's the reason why it's going to roll to find out if he's dead or not. He's eliminated. He, he, <laughs> I know, Mark. He goes, no, like, I, he goes, I, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I just want to know, historically, did, is Ramsey... Oh, well, did, there you go. Did, you can roll. Did, did Ramsey die today in October? Let's see. Okay. Well, let's roll. Let's see if he dies. Six. He rolled six again. Uh, no effect. So he didn't. Okay, so he got captured. So he could be... Must got captured. Yep, so then he could end up, as he moved to Dead Box, 
So he, well, did it really go to the dead box? <laughs> no, it didn't because they never do. Um, right, so we which is a that's a weird thing. We have to remember at the end that he's. Well, I was just could I just go up here and get a Ramsey real quick? Forest. Yeah, you could. Forest. That's, oh, wrong place. Parliament. And he would have been on the right. No, it's fielding left. Got it. Yep, and just pull it down here, and I'm going to drop it right here. I got it. I got it. Let's put one there. Oh, did, we, did we both put one there? <laughs> yep, we got two Ramseys. Okay. And we only need one Ramsey. There we go. Okay. So he was now, captured. here's the thing. Here's the thing. From a VP perspective, mm -hmm. this doesn't matter. I get, I get five times mm -hmm. five x his rating. Mm -hmm. And what's his rating? Zero. So I got no victory points for killing Ramsey or well, capturing Ramsey. But you're gonna, but yeah, but you're gonna earn some money when he gets ransomed. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized it doesn't matter from a victory point perspective because he's a zero rating leader. Mm -hmm. It did not help me. So the guys that are, oh, I guess you don't take into account the uh, negative sign when you do the victory points. <laughs> right, right. In <laughs> fact, it's it says in the rule that you elevate that sign to a plus. Yeah, because <laughs> there'd be some people like me who say, hey, oh, not here. Right, right, right. The, the math just doesn't work. Yep. Okay. All right. So that was that was charge guy. Okay. Now we got the, the colonel and his group. What's he going to do? Well, he's not going to close combat. I didn't think so. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not close combating a two strength dragoons against a twenty strength or a fourteen strength. They just moved up there so they can fire next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Actually, we try to continue. Ballard can could have done reaction fire. He can fire out of his flank. It's how come I could have fired? Less chance. Why couldn't I have done it? Because you were too with the cavalry. Because because he. Well, number one, because they were two away. Not when they hit me. Oh, hit me out. Uh, not when they hit you. Yeah, they. You could have done reaction fire there. Yep. Yep. Um. Well, well don't worry about it right yeah. now. <laughs> well, it, they they couldn't. You couldn't have eliminated them. But I might have. I might have survived though. Because they could have formation shaken and that kind of stuff. Right hit. Uh no, it doesn't do formation hits. Oh, it just it it just does strength hits. Okay. For heavy infantry, so you you couldn't have done. They were already shaken. You could have done formation broken if you did uh, formation hits, but you don't. So, but you can fire. You're firing out of your flank. Okay. All right, so the only thing is, there's probably the flank. Let's see where's the mice. Under the musket table, right? You're under the heavy infantry musketry tables. Right. I'm just seeing formation shaken, broken. Open if you're open. heavy infantry with regimental artillery, you are not heavy infantry with regimental artillery. You are heavy infantry. Okay. Oh, there's the flank. There's, okay, I got you. I, I, yeah, was, looking, I was looking and for, there's, for the pluses and minuses. Well, there are pluses and minuses, but there's no formation hits. Not on the heavy infantry table. Oh, I, that's not what I was talking about. I was looking for the modifiers. Uh, uh, I, was, I was going so, down Yeah, so the fire is or has, you, you don't have any of these. Right, right. That's what I was, that's what I was yeah. going over. 
Yeah, you don't you don't have any of these. I mean, you you're not formation shaken. You're not broken. Nope. You're not open order. Nope. You're not firing against moving cavalry. You don't have a salvo marker. Nope. It's not not retreating fire. Um, okay, don't don't have casualty points. Nothing. That's all I was, I was going over that for a second. Yep. Okay. So just don't wear that row low. Yeah. Five. Take a take a cat. All right, that's a that's a hit, mm -hmm. and yep, that's a strength hit. Terry's arguing with the dog. There we go. There's those dragons, which I really shouldn't have marked up there, moved up there, but they're under charge order, so there isn't a whole hell of a lot I can do. Nope. They had to had to do that. All right, so the colonel is finished. All right, now you've got bow four, make ready. Mm-hmm. And now you've got a different story here. Because we're really close on your artillery. This artillery can actually do some damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see here. We're going to, we're going to uh, fire our, the artillery at this point. I sure would. Mm-hmm. So the uh, Falcons are going to fire into Wentworth. Okay. Um, We're two away. Two away, so I don't think there's any minus no, nothing. Just zero. Yep. All right. Three-pound Falcons. Nope. Missed. Wow. Okay. Um, so you are in grazing shot range. Mm-hmm on the four to eight pounders yep, so good. what that means is remember that you have to fire on these two hex units you're firing on a particular side of the formation right so for these guys are going to go right down fielding to hit and end up at fire and so yeah so one two three four they can do that mm -hmm. so you're going to get to roll twice Okay. Again, three. I think four to eight pounds sakers at range two is zero, and is four zero for both of those are zero ranges. Yep. Yep. All right. So roll them. Okay. Fuck! Isn't it brief? Wow! Can you believe that? Both of them miss. That's I know. A, That's now, incredible. Now, now on Byron. Yep. Oh, Byron got a hit. A six. That's a hit. Yeah. That's formation. a formation hit. Yep. Bam. I've been firing too low. It bounced. It hit the Obviously. Yeah. No, not open order. Hit the wrong thing. On a formation hit. There we go. There we go. All right. So yeah, you you obviously lofted your cannonball right over the top of fielding. Mm -hmm. But it did skip and he plowed did. into Byron. Mm -hmm. Who? They didn't really kill anybody, but they all ran to get out of the way. That's good. So, so yeah. So that gun's that gun's fired. Fire. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Anything else? I see something. Oh, by the way, uh, Bedford over here has to be formation shaken because he did a close combat. Oh yeah. Who? Where? 
this cavalry. Oh, Bedford. that's right. Oh, yeah, Bedford. Yep, 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 yep. Where is it? I'll find out. There we go. Formation shaken. Okay. All right. So the cavalry—they're not going. They're not moving at all. They're just going to just rotate their frontage. That's one. Bedford, by the way, is out of command. Yep. I'm not doing anything with him. Well, we, we well, you have to move. Him. You have to move him to get him yeah, back in, in command. command. Right. These guys here are all they're doing is what you're seeing. Yep. Okay, those are all ones. Now, hey, let's see here. That's, that's one. Two, right? Mm -hmm. Three. Four, five. Yep. Six. Seven. And one more. Eight. Yep. There you go. Okay, and. Uh, and Bedford's range is eight, isn't it? The uh, cavalry. No, oh, right here. The, the, the leader, not Bedford, but Balfour. Balfour. Yeah, his movement range is eight. And everybody's in command at this point. Correct. And still would be if I move him over here on top of Balfour. Balfour. Mm -hmm. Or on top, you moved him on top of Bedford, yeah. Well, that's just what I mean. But yeah, they're all still in command. I wonder why they, these guys don't want to stack. <laughs> yeah, that's that started happening just okay. now. I don't know what the deal is there. No, okay, but. it's okay. So then, let's try for a continuation. How about that? I'm going to try to um, Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. I am. So Astley is going to try and preempt. He's a make ready. He preempts on a 0 to 3 and a minus 1. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He gets it. Okay. He gets it. So Balfour's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Astley's up. First thing we're going to do is try and change. Orders. Mm -hmm. We're going to go from make ready to a charge. Okay. And that's a zero to five yeah. minus one. Mm -hmm. Just a minus one, though. Right. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it. Mm -hmm. So we're in charge. So here's what we're going to do. One, two, three. Fire, re reaction fire. Okay. So that's two, two dyros there, isn't it? Uh, yes. You can fire both sides in reaction fire against 1913. Mm -hmm. Or you could fire one against each. Well, that's what I was going to do when I get to each, side, each half. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, I don't know if it makes much difference. Eh, probably not. I mean, your points are going to come off the same. <laughs> right, of, yeah, I mean... Out of the total. Exactly. Okay. So there's no plus. Right. There's, no, there's, no, there's no modifiers. It's just straight up. I believe that is the case. Yep. All right. So the first shot is a miss. No, it's, no, it's not a miss. 
That's out of the front. front. That's a hit. That's one hit. Yep. And the second shot. And there's another That's hit. That's a hit. Two hits. Yep. Both of those were hits. Both one point hits. So I'm down to 16. Mm -hmm. Strength. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, same thing. Yep. Okay, first shot. Seven. That's, that's a hit. That's two hits. Yep, two hits. And the second shot. Oh, nice. So a total of four shot hits. Total of four hits. Should that be 16? Yep. Should, that, should your total be 16, not... Yeah, 16, not 14. Yep. Yeah, so nobody's hit a casualty threshold yet. They're fine. Okay. Bonk. You on fire? Who, who? Oh, right over here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fired. Gerard. Gerard. Twice. First shot. Oh, one hit. Second shot. Nothing. So you got one hit. Bonk. Okay, we're going to try to intercept. Balfour's going to try to intercept. Okay. And, and we'll have reaction fire. So which do we do first? Um, reaction fire? Doesn't really, well, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Six okay. and one up doesn't end the other. Okay, They're do, both reacting. So yeah. try and find out if ball four is going to intercept. make his interception. Yeah. So okay, it's make yeah. ready. Mm -hmm. And his morale is a seven, so he doesn't get a plus anything. So zero, zero to four, four allows him to do it. Zero to four. Nope. Nope. So he blew the interception, so now you get reaction fire. Okay. My first shot. Eight. Two hits. Two hits. And another two hits. Total of four. So uh, four win. hits. Okay. And here goes Astley. And so I'm going to fire from... One hit, one's half of uh, Medrum. Yep. And over in Meldrum, Essex. and then one half from Essex. Yep. So two shots. First shot. One hit. Second shot. Four. One hit. Yep. yep. Pretty hard to miss on heavy infantry fire. Okay. Fielding should have more than two, two cat, two people, two. <laughs> oh yeah, he took two hits. Yeah, I think he should be at sixteen. <laughs> he should be at sixteen, not two. Yeah. Two hit markers. Yeah. No. All right. Um. Hey, I want to get something to drink. I'll be right back. That's uh, not a bad idea. I think I will too. Okay. My right golf.
You back? Caregivers? And, uh, oh, really? Make, make sure you're washing your hands real good. Yeah. Mic on. Okay, I'm back. If you're there. All right. Alrighty. So, close combat time. Okay. All right. So, Gerard. Oh, it got, is going to. What's that? I'm trying to figure out where this. Oh, there. I don't know where that music was coming from. It was up there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm I didn't gonna, even hear it. No, no. It was. It was a control panel. I, I think I was trying to get something started before you got on here. It, it, it was, oh. All right. So Gerard mm -hmm. is going to go against uh, Allard. Okay. And all right, so no wing commander. <coughs> nope. And morale is the same. Morale is the same. Mm -hmm. Strength ratio is a one to one. Okay. Close combat matrix, it's heavy infantry versus heavy infantry, so zero. Okay, for zero to right now. Yep, we're at zero. No flank, it, no it, pistols. That, there's nothing else, it's just straight up. Yep. It's straight up. Um, and we'll both end up with a formation hit after this. So here we go. All right. Uh, a, seven. a seven. Defender morale broken. Okay. 
Defender, retreat two hexes. Attacker must advance into vacated hex. So you go back to and your morale broken. Information. Right. Um, and you took a formation hit. Mm -hmm. Formation shaken. Okay. So back. But to with him. morale with morale broken, you have no formation. Okay. So should I mark the formation? I should mark that too, though, right? It doesn't matter because okay. you just don't have a formation. You're right. you're you're broken. You're going to route. Okay. I'll take that. You, you have to do. You have to do a route move. Now or not now though. No, not now, but at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. And I took a formation hit. Okay, so uh, now we're going to do. Uh, Bella Sly. And. Bella Sly and Fielding. Okay, so I, I got to read up here about two hex units in close combat real quick. So basically what you're going to want to do, by the way, mm -hmm. as soon as you can, is, uh, why is Balfour way over there? He's supposed to be on top of, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he did. He, he ran, um, he was, remember, he was, we're having that stacking issue over here. Yeah. So those guns are fired because they fired in reaction fire, right? Yeah. Not because Balfour had activated. Wait, wait, Balfour had activated. That's yeah. how he got way over there. He moved over. So there. he should be marked finished. It, it, what I did mark him finished. <laughs> That's weird. And then Here he we moved, go. Then he moved off to the. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so the next time he's activate, well. Yeah. So. When, that, uh, now this guy's moved back to where he was. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Okay. My guy's under him. Ah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> That's, okay. That's weird. Um, so when he route moves, mm -hmm. or he's not going to be quite off the map, you're going to want to activate the Earl of Essex to go get him. Yeah. Right. We'll to get go him. Get him. Otherwise, you're going to lose him. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, back to close combat and a two hex unit. I don't think it matters, but my, my question is: We're not going to split the two different units, is he? No, I don't. I don't think he can do that. That's that's fair. Okay, so two hex inventory units. These units may only attack a single hex. The defending unit must occupy or have at least one hex or two hex units in the center front hex of the attacking unit. So that means that fielding cannot right. attack exactly. other than that, that artillery. artillery. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's okay. That makes sense. Um, all right. So in that case, Bellisley is going to close combat against Essex. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a minus one. Because uh, you've got a... Yeah. Actually, it's even Steven. Um... 
Wing, yeah, wing. but that, he's not your wing commander. He's your okay. army commander. Mm -hmm. um, now, it could be army commanders can pitch in on the combat. Let me go look. Because it's a leadership rating. Only one may be used. So I, that was I think they may. What can, what can ACs do? All right, so ACs can only... Army commander may intercept, advance, or retreat after close combat with any unit he is stacked with or that advances or retreats. He may move with the unit that routes, whether from close combat during route movement or for whatever reason. Besides those actions, an AC may perform any one of the following actions. He can influence an orders change. He can move. He can influence continuation or preemption. He can reform or he can rally. So I should have been using him to help uh, doing orders and stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't think we could do that. Yeah, that's what ACs do. Because they are the army commander. Mm -hmm. um, however, in close combat, he also will kick in his leadership rating. Since, he's also, since he also could die in the, in the close combat. Correct. Correct. So, so you've got a strength advantage, which puts me at a minus one, but I've got a morale advantage, which puts me at a plus one, which evens it up. Mm -hmm. so then you have a negative one for the leader rating. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's nothing. Right. Okay, so it's a, a minus one to the die roll. Okay. And I roll a whopping zero. A defender, uh, attacker eliminated. Attacker eliminated. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're rolling at the extremes here tonight, Doug. I am. I <laughs> really am. I really am. You may advance into the vacated hex. But I don't have to, right? But you don't have to. And so I won't. Okay, now you have to roll for a leader casualty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So roll anything but a nine. So I rolled a one. You're fine. So so Earl of Essex was dancing around during that battle. Yeah, obviously. He was very happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm attacking these this uh, artillery with okay. fielding. Oh boy. And now I get to check that because obviously it's not a normal close combat. You just going to capture it? Maybe the guy's going to run away? I'm not sure how this happens. I mean, uh, that would make sense, but. Yeah, since you're not professionals. So. They're definitely not that. So whether that whether if they get eliminated, they are marked with a disabled guns marker. The artillery unit counter is never removed from play. If an enemy unit enters an artillery unit's hex during movement or advance after close combat, the artillery unit is captured. Flip the disabled guns marker over to its captured side. This way, ownership of the guns for determining victory may change hands several times before a battle is over. Disabled, captured, or recaptured guns may never be recruited by either side. Okay. But 
what happens to artillery in close combat. I'm sure it probably runs because there's nothing even on the matrix. Yeah, I can't imagine they do anything other than die. I think they run away and we mark it, we mark it disabled and then you can try, come, try to come in. Yeah, but I don't think they can fit in there. No, right. right. I mean, that's what I meant. The guys, since you're trying to close combat them. I mean, I think what happens is they... Here we go. An artillery unit alone in a hex is automatically captured when a friendly unit enters its hex during movement, performs a close combat against it, or advances or pursues into the hex after close combat. So they're captured guns. That's what happens. Okay. So we need a captured guns marker, which I'm not frankly sure we have. Doesn't look like it. I don't see a captured guns marker in here. Well, let's just put something out there. What's the salvo markers for? Uh, for salvo fire, which, frankly, I should have been doing. Uh, well, actually, I couldn't this turn. Um, and I don't believe you can do salvo fire in reaction fire, but let me check that. Salvo fire is a more powerful form of fire. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see that we have a marker for captured guns, which seems... Why don't we just put a column on top of them and know they're captured? You, yeah, they, that's they, fine. They can't be in a column. Right. That's fine. All right. Those are captured. Um, before we forget, <clears throat> let me look up salvo fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Salvo fire causes a morale check. Just by the fact that you fired on a unit with salvo fire, it causes morale. Mm. And the question is, can you do it react? Probably not. Salvo fire. Okay. Um, yes, I think you can, but. So a unit may use salvo fire only once per turn mm -hmm. and only into frontal hexes. Mm -hmm. The unit is marked with a salvo marker as a reminder. If the unit fires again in the same turn using normal infantry fire, its fire die roll is modified by negative one. Salvo fire by an active unit triggers reaction fire. Salvo fire may also be used when a unit reaction fires. Targets of salvo fire must make a morale check. Salvo fire is a separate and distinct action from normal fire and has no movement component and thus cannot be used in conjunction with advancing or retreating fire. If only half of a two hex unit salvo fires in any one opportunity, mark the whole unit as having salvo fired. However, both sides may salvo during the same fire opportunity, and in this case, neither fire suffers the negative one modifier. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of thinking something here. That with that, and the fact that I completely forgot about advancing fire, mm -hmm. What we really should do is back this up. Mm -hmm. And and rerun 
all of Astley's activation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I won't give that. Because it's it doesn't really make sense. The way it's panning out here. So come on. We'll take the column off. Yep, take column off. Move your guy back here. And we were here. Yeah, but you got to take your cash is off too. Yeah, the strength is what was his original strength? Eighteen. Yeah, they're, they're, just go back to the original and all those. Right, but I got to look oh. at what they are. I got to okay. see them. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't just go back. You just can't take the casualty off total. No, I can. I figured out how to do it. You just delete everything. So these these guys were all in a line, weren't they? Yep. Yeah, that's right. They were all in a line because this was a continuation. Mm -hmm. No, well, you pre you preempted me, so that put me made me finish, and then you then so we're in the we're in that preempted part of it. You preempted us. Uh, Balfour over there. Right, right. But I had everybody in. Yeah, yeah. If everybody. I remember correctly, I had everybody in a line. Oh, yeah, that's where they were. Okay. So this guy doesn't have a formation hit anymore. Well, this guy, Byron does. He but he Byron it. does. Yeah, Byron's the only one. Yeah, Byron had a formation hit. Okay. So. Oh, just a second. I gotta get rid of this MB over here. Yeah. You okay. All right, so now that all makes sense. So what's going to happen now is slightly different. I am going to do... This is weird, but this chart doesn't have advancing fire on it. Um, because advancing fire <clears throat> is a negative three advancing fire modifier, but it's not on the frickin' chart. Neither, neither is the backup fire either. Yeah, retreating fire is listed if you, a, right. as a modifier. Yeah, right. But not advancing fire. But they're both minus three. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm not just weird. I'm not surprised. <laughs> These charts are all 17 years old, right? Well, not the one I'm using. <laughs> the one I'm using is the newest newest one, and it's three or four years old. Um, I'm just read. I want to make sure I get two hex units correct here. So you get the fire, you get the fire boat, but twice. Okay. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. I mean, we may have done that wrong. We may have done that wrong. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll go 
Yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to back this up. We've never done this before. No, it's all new territory. Yeah. Okay, it's really not clear. I could have sworn I read about this. Yeah, they they do use both sides. Cloud field doesn't give you doesn't have any effect. It has no effect at all. All right, so units fire by hex. So a two hex heavy infantry unit would fire twice, but the fire from both halves is together considered one action, and both are resolved before the enemy gets any reaction fire. Okay. A two hex unit does not have to fire at the same target unit. If the same unit receives fire from both halves of a two hex unit, any casualties or fa formation hits incurred are cumulative, but the unit performs only one morale check with a plus one modifier to the roll if a second morale check is incurred. So that makes sense. Uh, and let me just make sure here, because I think we might also needed to have done some morale checking due to that fire. When to check morale. So yeah, if there's any casualty hits from fire combat, 6.2, maybe not. Six point two morale checks. Casualties may, yeah, may. So when a unit suffers casualties from fire combat, mm -hmm. compare the unit's current morale to the number of hits it incurred in the fire combat. See below. Note that fire combat from a single unit can never cause more than morale, one morale check to a target, no matter how many hits it achieves. So a current unit with a morale of six or less takes a morale check on any hit. If the unit has a morale of seven, one morale check on two or more hits. And uh, unit morale of eight, one morale check on three or more hits during any one fire combat. Okay. So six is one, seven is two, eight is three. Okay. We've also not been paying attention to formation effects on movement. Because there, there are some of those, and we've failed to note those. But that's okay. Was, well, maybe the cavalry, they're next to each other. The yeah, way. yeah, it's the right. Now, okay. Now, now Byron, um, Byron may have an issue. Uh, no, because what he's about to do isn't movement. 
Uh, so Bedford over here with his formation shaken could not have done what he did. He could have only moved four, not eight. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right, so here we go. So you want to take him out of here? Put no, 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 leave it alone. Just leave it alone for now. We, we don't he, need to mess with it. We, we just did. forgot it. He's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be any good part of it. Yeah, so Carnarvon, who had formation broken, he, he couldn't move at all. Who is that? That I with? retreated. Oh, okay. The guy that oh. I retreated, he, oh. could, he couldn't have moved at all. Okay. Because he's formation broken. Okay. He should have, he should have stayed back there. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're going to do that. He's back here. He couldn't move at all. He'd be stuck there. Well, I probably should move, move these guys back, too. Which guys? Over here, Bedford. About the, the, oh, Bedford? Yep. Okay, so, so he was... He was right here. It, well, I can't see him. Nothing, I can't see anything. Oh, you're not seeing the, you're not seeing the green lines? Oh, I see the green line, yeah. He's restarted. Yeah, but I can't see your mouse pointer. I, yeah, I know. I was going to... Okay, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm putting back, and I'm going to move uh, my leader back to where he he started. Because he, he, okay. he, he, he wouldn't go... Now, Bedford can move four if he wants. Yeah, I, I'm going to. I'm, I'm carried away here. <laughs> there you go. Well, you're probably going to move Balfour anyway. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Once but, Bedford gets moved, well, yeah, maybe because maybe, maybe, he may uh, not be close enough. Yeah, I'll probably. I'm not going to because I don't want to put him, put, put the guys out of order. Uh, okay, so let's see here. That's where he's facing. He can move four, right? So, right. one. No, oh, come on, dude. One. Remember, he two. can completely reverse for two. Okay, so that's what he's going to do. I'm just okay. One more. All right. So that cost him two. Three, four. Okay. There you go. Now I guess I could move him over. Move him. <laughs> Everybody's still two, in command. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can make it. Okay. Yep. All right. So everybody's still in command at that point. Yep. Okay, yep, still... you're good. Now, now, now guess what? You're stacked. I think. Yeah, they no, no. seem fine. No, they're not. They're not stacked. Huh. Oh, no. Weird. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, Wentworth. Good old Wentworth. Mm -hmm. is Is going to do advancing fire. Okay. Advancing fire is not movement. Okay. Okay? So you don't get a reaction fire for movement. Okay. You will, however, get reaction fire because I fired at you. Okay. But that comes after I fire. Mm-hmm. So, All right? so, so therefore, what, I couldn't intercept then, right? What's that? So I can't intercept with my cavalry? Uh, you... You can, assuming we've got line of sight, which I, I, I would think. I would say we do. <laughs> I was going to say I don't. Remember. Yeah, I would say. Well, I was just wondering whether the corner of their unit might have blocked it. But yeah, so it's the same deal. Ball four can try and intercept. Yeah. Or I mean, it doesn't have to be him. It could be. Uh, if Essex well, it's got to be four. One, two, three, four. Both of those guys are three. in range. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. But. Yep. But so, but your advancing fire would that come first, anyways? No, the intercept would. You go ahead. Oh, oh, no, yeah. you can't. It's not movement. That's what I was asking. Is, 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 is yeah, moving? that's what it, that, I just thought of. That it's not movement. Because it's advancing fire and not movement, you can't do an intercept. 
Okay. Yeah, this this is not movement. Reaction your the the intercept reaction mm -hmm. is in reaction to movement. Mm -hmm. All right, right. But this isn't movement. That's why, this I, is, that's why I was asking. So I can't. Yeah. When, I, when I said so, I can't do. No, it. no. I'm just I'm just yeah. thinking it through. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm just thinking. I just had to think it through, um, and it it hit me that yeah, this this isn't movement. So being not movement, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm I'm thinking out loud okay. is what I'm telling you. Um, yeah. So they can't intercept. Um. Okay, now, see, it, all this wasn't, this combat wasn't making sense to me mm -hmm. in terms of period combat. And now that we're doing it right, it, it is making sense. This, this actually would be what's happening. Because what's happening here is not that we're moving forward as a cohesive unit. What's actually happening here is musketeers are marching forward, mm -hmm. firing... And then the next rank of musketeers is marching through them and firing until we get up close. So it's different than the formation advancing right. as a whole. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're doing advancing fire. We are just regular old guys. Yeah, minus three. And it's minus three to the die roll. Five. Gives me a five. That's a hit. Okay. I get some uh, 17. And now I got to take a morale check? Not yet. Okay. I got to fire again, and his morale is high enough that he doesn't take a morale check until he takes two hits. Okay. So your second hit, second shot? A two a minus miss. three is a miss. Mm -hmm. So he does not take a morale check. No. Nope. However, he can now do reaction salvo. fire. And first, I'm do he salvo. could do salvo if he wants. Yeah, I'm doing salvo. Which which makes sense mm -hmm. for where you're at because you've already done your thing. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't fired yet, it might not make sense, but. Right now, All right, why would if, if I if I had not fired yet, which I have yes, not. Yes, if you had not fired yet. No, I mean if if you hadn't taken your activation yet. Oh, okay. Right. Then then it might not make sense to do salvo fire. Okay. But I am doing. But it. but yeah, it does make sense. So it's twice. You'll mm -hmm. fire salvo twice. Yep. Hey, just so before I forget, on for the, for the artillery. There is an option. Yeah. There is an option for disable and capture on the, on the right click. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay. So, we go, so I'm going to go back here to salvo. What is that? That's just that's just a normal straight it's, up shot. But you got to take a no, right. no, no. You use the salvo. Um, see so if you look at your tables. Oh, I see it. Yep. Front plank salvo. Mm -hmm. Salvo does more damage. Yep. Okay. So you're gonna fire salvo. Okay. Twice. With both sides, twice. Mm-hmm. You ready? And yep. First shot. A five. Yep. A five on the Two. salvo. Two hits. Okay. Followed by one. So three hits. A total. Two. Three hits total. Yeah. Three hits total. Okay, so took three hits, which puts me at fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I have to do a morale check, and I pass it with flying colors. You could just put one on there; it doesn't really matter. Okay. Because you can only fire salvo one time. The unit can only fire salvo once per turn. Okay, I did. Okay, so given that, um, so, so that so you took a morale test because of the salvo, not because of your point your uh, casualties. I took it because of both, but I only t I can only take one morale check per 
Okay. No matter what. So you can't inflict more than one morale check. Okay. Oh, okay, so if I did zero catch, you still would have had to take the morale check. Correct. Okay. Yeah, even if you'd have choked, I would have still have had to do it because you did salvo fire. Mm-hmm. But, um, actually, 10.6.3, it should be a second morale check. Okay. A unit that must make multiple morale checks to a combination of casualty hit, salvo fire, and casualty threshold die rolls the die only once and adds plus one for each morale check required beyond the first. Okay, so the first one would have been... With a, a max of plus four. So I wouldn't roll twice. I'd simply roll do a plus one so that would have been a for the die roll. Would have been a three, so he's fine. He's fine. Okay, so Byron. Byron steps forward. Mm -hmm. And Byron is going to do advancing fire. Okay. And he's going to do advancing fire on Meldrum. Mm -hmm. And same deal. Two fires minus three. This is much more like reality. Ooh, an eight. Minus three is a five. That's one hit. Okay. And an eight again. Two hits. Okay. All right. So not only does he have to take those two hits, but he will have to do a morale check. Because he's a seven, and he took two hits. All right. Two. And he passes it with flying colors. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do salvo fire back. Okay. Go ahead and mark it. Okay. First shot. Yep. Eight. That's two. That's two hits. And. Yep. And one more. Three hits total. Yeah. Yeah. Salvo fire is deadly. I'm at a 15. Okay. But I, and I took three hits. So even though I'm an eight, I have to do a morale check. So I do a morale check for the salvo plus one. Mm Mm-hmm. You're Passed good. with flying colors. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yielding steps mm-hmm. forward. Okay. I am. Uh, he has to move because he's stacked with them. So, fielding is going to fire. Um, again, this is advancing fire. Mm hmm. And the left half is going to fire into Meldrum. Mm-hmm. And the right half is firing into Charles Essex. Okay. All right. So first one is a six minus three is a three. It's a hit on Meldrum. Okay. Okay. Is he and morale check? No, because his morale seven. Okay. He would only have to if he'd taken two hits, he'd have to do a morale check. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, second one into Charles Essex. Mm-hmm. A four minus three is a one, which mm-hmm. is still a hit. Mm-hmm. Still a hit. On Charles Essex. Okay. And, he's and his... Yeah, his morale... Okay, so he has to do a morale check. 
you can get the benefit of Essex. So a six minus one, five. You have to roll, yeah, you have to roll under a six and you're minus one to the die roll. Yep, I know I wrote a six. Yep, then you're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do reaction fire from um, Eldred and Essex. Okay, so Meldrum can't do salvo again. No, but he's just going to do reaction fire. He's not going to, right. Right, which he has to do minus at minus one. Right. Because he did salvo. Yeah. Nothing, miss. Okay. And uh, the Essex is just going to do regular reaction fire. Reaction fire. So he's no, he's not minus one. Uh, you have to roll before you do that. You need to roll for Essex to see if he died. Why? Oh, because you're shooting at him. Yeah. Yep, he's fine. Okay, now I'm going to roll for a reaction fire. Yep. Minus one. Zero. Miss. Wow. Okay. Um, but I still have to roll for Athley. And he survives. Alright, advancing fire. Okay. I honestly wonder... Nah. I, wa I wonder if you could m use advancing fire to move adjacent if you're not under charge. But I think the answer to that is no. You can't move. You can't move. You can't get that close, so you couldn't get to it. Well, but it's not movement. Yeah. Okay. It's not movement, but I, I think that it actually says you can't use advancing fire to do that. <coughs> I just don't want to go. <coughs> I don't want to take the time to look it up right now. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and shoot. Advancing fire. Two shots into Charles Essex. Mm -hmm. And that's a big miss. Mm -hmm. And that's a five, which is one hit. So he's yep. going to take another morale check then, right? But he's got to take a morale check. However, he can benefit from mm -hmm. the Earl of Essex. Yep. And he just he passes it again. Mm -hmm. That's all he needs to do is pass. That's all he needs to do. Okay, so he okay. salvo Assume fire you're going to reaction fire, salvo fire back. Yep, salvo fire. Okay, the first shot. Like a, a miss. miss. Dang. The second shot. There you go. That's two hits. Two hits. That's two hits. A seven. I'm pretty sure that's two hits. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So that puts him at an 18. And he has to take morale check. Two or just one? It just uh, t actually two. So he fails both because he got fired on by Salvo, and he, he fails, took two hits, and he, and he fails both. it. Fails both, right? He fails it. Um, well, he's ta he takes one morale check. He just adds plus one to the die. Okay. He doesn't do two morale checks. He does a morale check with a plus one. He failed okay, it, so it. he's not... He's morale shaken. Okay. Badoop. Okay. Same deal. Advancing fire. Mm-hmm. Mic off. It's a miss. Mic on. And a miss. And did so, nothing in salvo fire back at you yep all right first salvo shot is a six uh six that's a two, two. and second salvo shot miss two hits so same deal uh, he's a 18 so he's down to 16. But 
he has to take a morale check plus one, mm -hmm. which he passes. Okay. Um, I am going to try for a continuation. Okay. And I guess Fielding over here couldn't try to pre him, could he? No, because he's under rally. Right. <laughs> so, I'm under charge. I do a continuation on zero to three minus one. Mm hmm. And what about your leader? He doesn't. That doesn't fit. That's that's the minus one. Okay. Zero to three minus one. Nope. Nope. Not, not today. He's done. We're all done. Okay, so you got Fielding over there, and I've got Wilmont. The Wilmont should be finished. Yeah, because you moved. I just you, didn't. Right, you, yeah. you, you you'd moved him, but that, yeah. So. Because he preempted. Mm -hmm. So Fielding. Well, no, he couldn't have. He couldn't have preempted. Now, you you remember you put him back there because he, he said he couldn't move. Well, I know that, but. That's what I'm trying to figure. How did he move? He went before rally. He went before. But he can't preempt. So how did he? How did he do anything? Because my center was under make ready. Mm -hmm. They should have gone before he did. We we got that out of order. Is the yeah, only thing I can think. Yeah, yeah. he. He shouldn't have moved. So then, what's his face? This, this guy down here shouldn't have moved either. To the, 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 the other part of him. Right, but but then he's not finished. Right, that's why I said he's, he's either finished or he's not. I mean, if he's not finished, then the other guy should be back where he was. Well, not only that, but I should get a horse back. I moved cavalry that I should right. get and, back. And I, well, I intercepted too. Right. So I know he's finished. The the only thing I'm trying to figure out is why did we do a? Uh, I have no idea. I can't. I don't recall why. <laughs> I don't recall either. I, that's what I'm trying to. I'm like, wait a minute. He he was under rally, so he shouldn't have moved. Mm -hmm. That that's weird. Something's what's it, weird what's about guy, that. What's the guy underneath him? Is he? His formation, formation broken. broken. Okay, so he, he so he didn't have to route. Trying to figure out why you did that. Right. Well, I, I'm trying I, to figure out why he even. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember why I moved those guys, because that's out of order. But mm -hmm. it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, we'll leave it alone. So, basically, you got to decide what you're doing with fielding. If Bill is just going to try to change orders, and that's, I don't think that the guy underneath there doesn't. What is this? Doesn't situation? need anything, right? Yeah, right. So I'm just going to try to change, try to go to uh, make ready right, from rally okay. yeah, zero to four, and then if don't get it, then that's it. Oh, he does. He does. Okay, make ready. So now I can go for now I can try for a continuation, right? Well, you still have to take an action. Oh, okay. I thought that was You changed orders. Was no, okay. changing orders is not an action. Yeah, like these guys can really do as much. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean they can move. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, let's see here. I think I might try to move. Okay. So they're just going to move together. They're both at speed of eight, right? No. No, because... What, six? The dragoons are light infantry. They're six. Okay. One, two, three, four. 
Now, fielding, does it fielding have to be within a certain distance of the Army commander? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, now he's going to try for a continuation. Okay. Two. I think that's a make ready. That's a. Uh... Yeah, he got it. He just barely got it, but he got it. Change or, or rotate a little bit. Oh, run away. So that's one. Yep. Two, three, four, five. All right, one more continuation. So this is a minus one, right? Correct. How about that? He got it. Let's see here. Let's rotate one. Oh, it's too far, isn't it? That's right. That's one, two, three. So I'm looking. I'm four. looking up here if you can actually do what you're trying to do. <laughs> That's why I was asking if I had to be within a certain range of my. Well, no, that it's not that. It's it's light infantry. Oh, with it, light infantry can capture the guns. Right. They can. Light infantry may initiate and participate in close combat only. Against, against other light infantry mm -hmm. and and lone artillery and wagon units. How about that? But I'm only going to take one right now. One, two, three, four, right? If I go into the hex like that? Yeah, then you capture it. Let's change that to captured. That was gamey as all hell. Well, I think it's... Hey, what else can I do? <laughs> Sorry. You're, you're asking to get run down by some cavalry. Probably. Well, I was going to get run down anyways, but I could have the fun of at least taking it, thinking I have to capture something. <laughs> okay, because if you hit me, I'm dead. I'm gone. Right. Okay. All right, he's done. He's finished now. All right. And so, that's the end of the turn. So he was stop here. What? Well, what's his face comes back? Your your leader comes back. Yeah, Rupert, Rupert comes back at the end of this turn. Which is now, right? Yeah, which is now. So he replaces the colonel. He said, what the heck's going yep. on here? Where's my command? Yep. There we go. What did you do? Rupert comes back and goes. Why didn't you charge why home? I, why didn't you? Charge? Why am I here? Why didn't you charge home? Why did? Yeah, that sounds exactly like Rupert. To tell you the truth, that is that is entirely how Rupert would be. <laughs> I, I, I rode in there. We took him out. Now you do the same. That's that's Rupert. Rupert is a. <laughs> consummate nothing but a cavalry command he's actually a really interesting guy mm -hmm. um so yeah you you know from just reading the 1632 books about oh, yeah, how the the 30 years war started in bohemia mm -hmm. 
and you probably remember the references to the Winter King. Yep. Who, at the end of the Bohemian Rebellion, is deposed and actually loses... Uh, he's an elector prince, so he, he loses that too. Well, that's Rupert's father. Okay. He's Prince Rupert of the Rhine, and Ferdinand is his father. Um, Ferdinand's wife is Charles's sister. My golf. So Rupert is King Charles's nephew. And that's how he ends up in England. My gone. And that's the bizarre piece, right? Is Rupert's a Protestant. Right. Fighting for right. the Protestants in the Thirty Years' War, but ends up on Charles's side, which is a technically Catholic side. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then uh, during the, the Restoration, so Rupert actually probably loses the war for Charles. Oh, Rupert probably sounds like a mercenary, which your side was paying the most. Uh, well, he, no, he, he it was a family thing. Okay. Right? Because Charles is his, his uncle. Oh, okay. King Charles is his uncle. But he uh, what he's doing is he's he's supporting royalty over not royalty. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, well, that makes sense. That, may, that makes even uh, more sense. <laughs> right. Um, but because he loses the Battle of Marston Moor, mm -hmm. a battle he should have never fought, that that probably loses the Civil War for Charles. Which, of course, results in Charles getting his head cut off. Mm -hmm. So Rupert then goes back into exile um, with Charles II and comes back during the Restoration during which time he actually founds the Royal Academy. So Newton and all those early scientists, right. that's under Rupert's patronage. And you may have seen on science programs this interesting glass called Prince Rupert's Drops. No. If you've never if you've never watched anything, there's a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Okay. So it's this really interesting teardrop shaped drop of glass that if you hit it, it it won't shatter. I mean, you can pound it with hammers. They've fired bullets at them. They put them in hydraulic presses. You can't break them. Hmm. But they have this they have this little tail of glass. And if you hit that little tail, the whole thing shatters. It's it the it's the weirdest thing, yeah. but um he he invented those just playing around with glass. Um, so then later in the Restoration, he decides that, that what he really wants to be, he's been a cavalry commander all this time, right? As he gets old, he decides he wants to be an admiral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and he becomes the hot Lord High Admiral of the Royal Navy. And actually wins... Um, several naval battles. It turns out he, he becomes a really good admiral and does a lot to establish the Royal Navy. Mm -hmm. well, cavalry, maybe, that could be the same. I guess. Well, when he, but, I mean, he, if he's not, if you take the, the sailing skills out of it, and just the strength. Yeah, him. right. It's not, dis not unsimilar. And, uh, so he's basically finishes out his career as an admiral. 
uh, and like I said, really fascinating kind of guy. Um, very much, you know, part of the royalty, but um, really abrasive when he was younger. He pissed off a lot of the other royalist commanders because, you know, he was like 22 and nobody could tell him everything, anything. He had all the right answers, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But but very brave, won a lot of cavalry fights, but, but did this just like we're seeing here where, you know, all of his troopers go right off the battlefield. He does that again and again and again. <laughs> so, all right. So we are at the end of turn six. Mm -hmm. Now into turn seven. Yeah, probably a good place to stop for that. Yep, good place to stop and remove the salvo markers. Yeah, I got that. And we're ready to go. Okay. Everybody's back, and so now it's the infantry fight. Okay. All right. That's a, that's how many now it's the infantry fight. With the, uh, sir, yeah. seven. We're getting, we got four more turns, so. Yeah, we only have four turns left anyway, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, this makes more sense the way this is working now mm -hmm. from a, a perspective of how the fire combat is going mm -hmm. is that I was having a real problem with I really didn't want to close combat you uh, when I moved up because I didn't always have favorable odds right and but I felt like I had to because otherwise you were just going to shoot at me I, you know you would get a reaction fire mm -hmm. and then you would probably get a fire turn Without me ever doing anything, it's strange. That so that, I felt uh, that because that without that being on, on there, it kind of we forgot about it. Advancing fire, right, right. But it turns out, yeah, we we really can do something totally different. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, it's kind of strange. It's with, not on there. <laughs> really. Yeah, I I don't know why it's not on there. It's really Unless, I'm really looking weird. at it. With four, there just it wasn't an extra line in there. They could squeeze it in for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know why they, <laughs> but they didn't. So I mean, it could, it whatever. Could have, it could have been it's minus three. It could have been advancing fire, advancing defensive slash, fire. Yeah, flash retreat. You know what? What is that? Retreating fire. Retreating right. Fire, yeah. All in one line. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's not on there. It's weird. Okay. It's weird, but. Okay, well, this is a good place to stop, and we're learning the system, mm -hmm. which is good. So, after this, it, it'll become more second nature to us. And there's some, man, there's some big ass battles in the 30 Years War games. Lot, lots more counters than this. Mm -hmm. well, this is a good learning one. No, this is a great learning one. Yeah. Um, it's not too huge. And none of the English Civil War battles are, because their armies were just not that big. I'm disappointed we didn't have any visitors watching the game tonight. In uh, nobody showed up, yeah. but <laughs> We may have had a couple I mean, that's a, watching on Twitch, though. I saw the numbers. Right. That's the only time I've ever seen anybody pop into a <laughs> a vassal game. I've never seen it. Okay. Well, I'm cool. Gonna well, I'll save this. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the Twitch run for this 